Hello, welcome to Chapter 3.4, Part 2, The Equation of a Line. The second form is called the slope-intercept form of a line. This is the general equation where m is the slope and b is the y-intercept. Recall that the y-intercept is where the line crosses or intersects the y-axis. In example number one, we're asked to determine the slope and y-intercept of each line. A, y is equal to negative one-half x plus four. In this equation, we call the slope m. And m is the negative one-half part. We do not write the x because we're just looking at the slope itself, the change in y over the change in x. The y-intercept we call b, and that's at the end of the equation here, all alone. And in this case, it is 4. In line B, we have y is equal to 2x minus 3, where the slope m is 2, or one could say 2 over 1, and the y-intercept b is equal to negative 3. In example number two, we're asked to write the equation of a line whose slope is negative five and has a y-intercept of seven using the slope-intercept method. And we want to write the answer in slope-intercept form. So we see that we're given that the slope m is equal to negative 5 and the y-intercept b is equal to 7. So we have this formula to represent a line. y is equal to mx plus b. So we plug in m, which is negative 5 in our case here, and b, which is positive 7 in our case. So the equation of our line in slope-intercept form becomes y is equal to negative 5x plus 7. In example number 3, we're asked, using slope-intercept method, write an equation of the line that has a slope of 3 and goes through a point negative 4. And we want to write the answer in slope-intercept form. Now remember, slope-intercept form means the form of y is equal to mx plus b, where m is the slope and b is the y-intercept. So let us work this out on the whiteboard in detail. In example number three, we're just given a, we're given the slope, m, and the slope in this particular example is 3. And we're given a point, which is 1, negative 4. And we're asked to find the formula of the, of the line where the slope is 3 and goes through that point. Now remember, the formula for a line is equal to y is equal to mx plus b, where m is the slope and b is the y-intercept, meaning where the line goes through the y-axis, so wherever the line goes through the y-axis. So what we're going to do is we have to figure out where the line goes through the y-axis in order to fulfill this formula. So what I'm going to do is I'll label this x and this y, and then I'll start plugging into this formula. So I have y is negative 4 is equal to m, and m is 3, 
and x is 1, and then I have plus b. So now I have enough information to figure out where the y-intercept is. So I have negative 4 is equal to 3 plus b. And then we could have negative 3, negative 3, and that means negative 7, and negative 7 is equal to b. So we know the slope, m, which we're given is 3. We know the y-intercept, b, is equal to negative 7. So now we can write the formula for the line. So y is equal to 3x minus 7. And that's our formula for this particular line that has a slope of 3 and goes through that particular point. Reviewing what we just did on the whiteboard, we found that to write an equation, you need two things. The slope, m, and the y-intercept, b. In our case, the slope was equal to 3, and we don't know what the y-intercept is because we're just given an arbitrary point. So we have to find the y-intercept. We plug in the slope as an ordered pair into y is equal to mx plus b. And here we do it because we want to figure out what b is. So in our case, the y was equal to negative 4 and the x was equal to 1. And we were given the slope 3. So now we can solve for b. And we plugged in the point x and y to get this formula. So now we solve for b, and we found that b gives us negative 7. Now we have enough information to write the equation of a line. To write the equation, we need two things. As mentioned, the slope 3, and now we know the y-intercept is negative 7. So we have our two pieces of information. The 3 that we were given in the example, and the negative 7 that we found by doing a little bit of algebra. So the equation of our line in slope-intercept form is y is equal to 3x minus 7, where 3 is our slope and negative 7 is our y-intercept. In example 4, we're asked, using the slope-intercept method, to write an equation of the line that has a slope of 4 and goes through point negative 1, negative 6. In this example, the slope m is 4 and the point is negative 1, negative 6. And as we have learned, the equation of the line in general is y is equal to mx plus b. So here we plug in x as negative 1 and y as negative 6, and we have m is equal to 4, so we get negative 6 for the y, 4 for the m, negative 1 for the x, and now we can solve for b. And we get, after we do a little bit of algebra, b is equal to negative 2. Now we can plug b into the slope-intercept formula to get y equals 4, which is the m from our example, minus 2, which is the y-intercept we calculated. So this y is equal to 4x minus 2 is what we want because that is written in slope-intercept form. 
Thank you very much. I hope that you enjoyed this video. Take care, be well, and goodbye for now.